How important is it that we harness the momentum of this World Cup that's gone, especially with the Women's World yeah. Cup, that's going to be here before we know it, right? Yeah, I think football in Australia is just going to keep growing with the with the success of the Socceroos in, in the World Cup this year and then also the Women's World Cup next year. I think the, the European Championships this year in England sort of showed how big the female game is and it coming to Australia, it's just going to grow and grow. And I think, you know, we really need to harness that, that growth and the interest that's building here. And I think it's going to be a massive thing. So, yeah, I think we just need to sort of take the opportunity and get everyone on board and show our amazing game to everyone. Sarah, most of the outrage seems to have been around the men's competition and I yeah. guess is it frustrating that the women's game gets even less of a say at the table at the APL and, and other levels? Yeah, I think the, the decision has been a bit of a mixed reaction from our group. I know the female side is sort of doesn't get maybe as much um, coverage or, you know, reaction but yeah we've we've had a bit of mix mixed emotions about it but yeah I think the decision is based off the growth of the league and that is both female and male so whatever's best for the league I guess is sort of how we how we go about it but yeah we just want to see growth on both sides especially the female side I know there's there's a lot of um, potential within within Australia and the female side. So I think whatever's best for, for that is is how we have to go go with it. So, so if you finish first, you can post a grand final anyway, right? Yeah, I think we've been in what the four of the past five grand finals. So that's that's where we plan to be, and that's all five. Yes, yeah, so that's where we where we want to be, and that's sort of where we thought we'd be anyway. So it doesn't really affect us. I mean, it does, but yeah, we we were always planning to be there anyway and, and have it at home. So that's that's sort of where where we wanted to be anyway. So, yeah, it's just what the decision is, yeah. So you talk about a massive year coming up. Yeah. Yourself, I think you played Young Matildas. You've seen a lot of your teammates yeah. on, on win cups over the last kind of 12, 18 months. How far do you think you are from maybe... Uh... <sighs> well, yeah, I think it's, it's hard to know, but obviously being around... Um, Matilda's in our own team with Courtney and Jada and Remy so it's it's not far off for, far off for a lot of the young girls I think we can sort of see um, how close it is and I think that's really good motivation for myself and all the uh, young young girls pushing for a spot um, you know as well as you see all the big crowds it's it's getting really big and you know we want to be a part of that so yeah it's it's really motivating and yeah I mean everyone wants to be a part of it so that's just how it is, yeah. You just mentioned Courtney and Remy. Another forward person, Haley, has been dominant this season. Yeah. How important is she to the team? Yeah, she, she's been amazing since she came in. She's, she's a real competitor and, you know, she's so classy on the ball and on, on the pitch and off the pitch. She's been a real asset to the team off the pitch as well. So she's, yeah, she's, she's just a really great number nine. I think she's just sort of everything you want in a number nine. And it's been really good for, I think, Remy and them to have a bit of competition. And that's just pushed us, you know, Remy come on, coming off the bench and scoring in almost all of her games. So, yeah, I think it's good to have that competition and yeah she's Madison's brought a different different style American style um, to our team and it's yeah it's been really good for the whole team scoring a goal here against Brisbane how good was that in front of all the home fans yeah that was that was a great experience in the new stadium as well so yeah it was great to get the win I think we we had a bit of a not our greatest first half but the second half we came out and and sort of dominated them and we got the two goals in the added time as well, so that sort of was a, just a reward for our, our dominance in the second half, I think. A so former teammate of yours, Maria Rojas, is out mm. of contract at the end of December at City. Is there a chance she will mm. return to Sydney? Well, good question. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, but yeah, I think she's doing really well over at City and yeah, she, she is a great teammate and great friend, so yeah. Would I'm, you like to see her return? I mean... I'd like to, but it's not up to me. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good chance for every time. Is this a good chance for fans to come out and see a Sydney derby before mm. the men's game on Christmas Eve this weekend with you and the team back in the goals? Yeah, I think we we played the Wanderers a few weeks ago, and it was a it was a fiery game, and we're sort of out for not revenge, but our captain getting sent off in the first half was was a bit of a you know everyone's a bit pumped up for that. So we we're going to have a good game here, I think, and we're we're coming off a good win. Um, last two weeks ago so yeah everyone I think it's going to be a good game and
good one to watch. Yeah, Sydney Derby. Mm. You talked about Remy and Maddie. How, how does Remy take it? Because she's been like the attacking kind of impetus of this team, and now she's yeah. having to make do with the bench. Is she, how she likes yeah. it? Well, I think Remy sort of came in a bit later, sort of at the very start of the season, and Maddie was was here for the whole pre-season. So I think Ante sort of, you know, Maddie was here first. She gets first shot, and she's just been you can't take her off really um, so I think Remy sort of had to deal with that I think with any professional football that's sort of you know if someone's performing it's it's hard to break in so that's just how it is but Remy Remy's been amazing at training and games she's she's pumping up the girl she's been a great teammate so yeah I think it's been you know she's not taken it personally I think it's just football and yeah Remy has been really good Still quite young. Has any player kind of taken you under their wing in the team? Mm. What helped you develop the most? Um, I think uh, our, our team's all pretty young. I think a lot of the, the girls that have been here for a while have been really good. I, I know Remy, Jada, all those girls that have been, they're still quite young, but they've been really good sort of, you know, helping you through the tough times and, you know, keeping your head up when, when things go wrong. So, yeah, I think there's a, there's a big bunch of those girls that have sort of been here for a long time and that just shows like how good the club is all these girls staying for Nat's been here for almost double digits now so yeah all those senior girls have been really really good for all the young ones coming through